Hi church family, it's Mark Babalian from the Stewardship Committee. Last weekend, uh, Phil Bledsoe, the chair of the Finance Committee, gave a presentation about legacy gifts. And he talked about the fact that through various legacy gifts and current gifts, we were able to pay off our mortgage. That's really exciting news for this church because not to have debt, that's incredible and that's great news. Along those lines, uh, that was all part of our capital fund that was earmarked towards either capital expenditures or uh, paying off the debt. So what I wanted to talk to you today about is our operating fund. As you may recall, last May, I came before you and told you that the 2021 budget had a deficit position of about $170,000. And I asked if everybody would prayerfully consider giving through the rest of the year to address that deficit. And uh, last year, 2021, the exciting news was everybody gave and really supported the church in a big way. And we actually raised an additional $175,000 and we actually uh, ended the year with a fully uh, balanced budget. So, and I also told you at that time that the various program leads and the finance committee would work to balance the budget going forward. Early this year, the finance committee was about to finalize our budget and it had a $50,000 budget deficit, which is not that uh, it's not that insurmountable. We can handle that with the cash reserves we have. But after we came to that conclusion, uh, the, the trustees came up with three projects that were very important and had to be done this year that we were not aware of. Now the trustees every year budgets for various projects and also a contingency fund. But these three projects fell outside that fund. One being the termites we found in the sanctuary for about $25,000. Uh, air conditioning repairs in the education building for about $25,000 and to repair a wall in the education building for about $10,000. So that is about $60,000 that we had not planned at the beginning of the year. And so our $50,000 deficit has become $110,000. And so what I'm here today is just to make you aware of that and just please prayerfully consider if you could increase your pledges you're giving over the course of this rest of this year so we can address this deficit, whether the initial $50,000 or the additional $60,000 for the total of $110,000. This church has so many awesome programs going on and we, we have so many things that we, uh, for our youth and family ministries, the music program, how we address things in the community. And we want to continue to grow those programs. And each of the program leads is very conscious about making sure they balance their budget and they work within their means. But these, uh, these repairs this year has hit us. And going forward, we'll continue to work on balancing the budget. So I would just like for you all to prayerfully consider helping us address this and give to us as you did last year in such a big way. And I appreciate everything you've done for this church. Uh, there'll be communications shortly about uh, different ways that you can give and you can even earmark your gifts towards one of these three projects or the deficit itself. All right, thank you so much and have a great day.